Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Fashionably late as I'm always the next video and I'm doing here again. Yet again, yay. But the issue or the, the thing I'm doing this time or right now is I'm experimenting with the hair a lot. As you can see, I'm deviating a bit from my usual uh, go-to plan. Basically, I first plan planted the hair, then I extruded it just to see how this works, if this is doable, um, what the effects is. And yeah, uh, the hairdo itself is relatively uncomplicated. I used AI to, or I had to ge AI generate some images. Um, these are also the reference images for the last two pieces that I made and basically one of the images that came out had a very interesting hairdo which I then decided I'm gonna model. And another thing about the hair that I'm currently working on is that I'm strongly experimenting with for example the size of the tubes that I base this on. The extremity of the extrusion so basically how far do I extrude these is it is it flat is it is it very uh, uh, strongly extruded um, because I want to see how far I can vary it with this and it still looks like hair it still looks good but I really want to go into this more cartoonish more stylized uh, hair basically like you have in many video games uh, because this is where I think my path currently um, leads kind of I will go back into the game making I'm just about to install Unreal Engine again and um, start playing around with this but yeah this is basically the direction I, I I'm going in. So the Godot thing is on hold for now because I'm working with other people and we decided that maybe Unreal Engine is for what we want to do is, is the best option. So we're going to work with this, which means there will be some Unreal Engine movies, uh, videos on my uh, channel at some point this year in the future. Hard to say how far. Yeah. Um, done with half the hair. Now you know me. You're doing the UV maps, and then I'm copy pasting the half over. The UV maps were very simple to make because uh, tubes usually tend to have a very simple UV mapping in and itself. I still might have to re recheck the uh, the uh, tail and the back because there is some stuff that isn't really working out. But uh, one thing I want to show on, show off is the images that I used to make this. So the first one right here is a relatively low, um, a relatively low resolution. Um, it's about the resolution I usually do, like 600, 600 or 700, 700. It's relatively quick to make. Um, it doesn't take that much time. I can make a lot of images and then basically decide from the bulk which ones I will use as a reference. So for this specific thing, I used this images and then uh, this image and then I decided I'm going to scale this up. This is something that um, is no longer just in, in police movies where people check a license plate and say, oh, zoom in, and um, they make a complete license plate from 10 pixels. This is still absolute fiction. Yeah, I'm just gonna say this here. This is absolute fiction, but what the AI can do is Think what it sees, think, like, like, emulate the process of what could that be, and then, uh, yeah, do, do an image. So I basically scaled this up and had a new 
image to show for. Yeah, back to the thing you see in the background, I'm working on the, uh, yeah, on a kind of crown. Um, I decided, or yeah, with relevance to the images I just showed, I uh, wanted to do some something more complicated for the hair. So basically not just a hair tie, but really like um, a, a thing to put the hair through. Um, you might be reminded, like I, I was reminded for, uh, by, uh, from this by Avatar. I watched the anime, uh, the, the live action thing. I found it okay, was absolutely fine to watch. So uh, yeah, nice. And I simply decided I want to do something similar, but um, yeah, for, for a ponytail, basically. So this is why I made this crown thingy. I will do something like this more often um, when I do hair, because I just like the, like the visual appeal of this more. Uh, one thing I had to figure out was to how to actually like um, voluminize this hairdo. So basically, I wanted the the back, as you can see, to have more volume. So I um, yeah, I grabbed my extrusion tool again and welded a few of the extruded points on back together, so it all goes into each uh, into itself smoothly. And uh, yeah, what I got is actually kind of what I wanted. We're going with a secondary extrusion here again, so I just get a bit more um, detail into it, a bit more volume and value out of it. And one of the things I had to do was actually just really touch up the whole UV map. You can see this right here. Yeah, it is relatively simple uh, from the UV map. And what I definitely have to do is retouch this particular UV map and um, make the, uh, the reference more because as you can see I'm, I'm, I've retouched this and I've made this more square and this doesn't really work with the whole thing uh, because it, it kind of breaks the relevance or the the the, the proportionality of the hair. Uh, for the back uh, I thought I want to try something new so I made a a flat surface um, and then molded this into into the base shape before I used the thickening tool on it so this is really something I, I tried newly and yeah I'm, I'm just basically trying around a bit to see how this works um, it worked better than expected I'm still not fully happy with the with the with the ending of the hair with the with the split ends um, not with the split ends, with the with the um, tips of the whole uh, backside, but overall this worked around as as good as I expected it to be. Um, it is there, it is it is visible, it is it has uh, it has volume, um, it has some detail, and overall I'm I'm. Okay, without turn up, but I will have to try this again. Uh, this is also important for um, a few other hairstyles that might come up, like like relatively short hair bobs, um, uh, the hair that Raven, for example, from Teen Titans has, is something I made when I made it first in a similar image, but I think I have to redo it again because it's not up to my current standard. Yeah, and finally I, I went with the with the side uh, uh, swing side side frame of the hair, and I decided to go with splitting the ends here to make this a bit more detailed. And at first I made it relatively long before I just consulted the uh, reference image again and saw this was just about shoulder length so I think the back uh, the hair in the back is a bit long um, as reference for the whole uh, image but overall I'm really happy with how this turned out and yeah 
one thing I had to do, obviously, was uh, more UV uh, mapping for the whole uh, big hair thingy. But yeah, this was relatively easy to make. Um, last note on the side, um, I made the tentacle, I touched up on it, I now have a two, or I, I now have the two uh, pages on it, and I also, uh, the, the two textures on it, and I also had it rigged again, I'm not really quite there yet, but I'm making progress with the whole rigging stuff and it looks more natural, looks more bendy, it's not just pieces put together, it's actually organic. So yeah, I'm still fiddling around with that and we'll see how this whole uh, all comes together. I will not make a second video about the tentacle though. Um, not that I'm done with it, but um, I don't think uh, the, the touch-up that I'm doing warrants a second uh, video. Yeah. Uh, last thing last, uh, the UV map of the back. And that's it for this video, actually. Thanks for watching, and I hope I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you guys around.